Okay, for vectors we have a so-called parallelogram rule. So suppose we have two vectors A and B in standard position, so they start at the origin, pointing at some points in space. Yeah, so we take two vectors in standard position, so they start at the same origin, they are rooted at the origin, this is another way of saying this, so we have A and B, we have a direct line segments A and B, then we can add the vector A to B, this is done here, if we add A to B, we get the coordinates from A added to the B, and we get A plus B, And it's the same as adding B to A. We also end up in A plus B. And if we look at B minus A, we get a vector pointing from the endpoint of the vector A to the endpoint of the vector B. So we have actually the axis of the parallelogram. So this is called the parallelogram rule. A plus B and B minus A are the axis. Well, what general properties do we have for vectors? Well, suppose we have two scalars C and D and three vectors U, V and W. Well, first of all, algebraic property is, is that, well, actually it's seen in the parallelogram rule that adding V to U is the same as adding U to V. So basically it says that the order of addition does not matter. Well, the second one is U plus the sum of V plus W equals the sum of W and V, or the w, uh, of U and V and W. So the order in which we played plays brackets and these kind of expressions does not matter. So when we have very large sums, which occasionally we have, we will, we will encounter, then usually these brackets are left out. So these are all properties that you actually know from working with numbers. Yeah, A, if we switch to numbers, then sum of 1 plus 2 is equal to the sum of 2 plus 1, etc. If we add the zero vector to a vector, then we, we, we will get the same vector back. So we get u. u plus zero vector equals u. So the zero vector is, is neutral, is a neutral element with respect to addition. Since each component of u is added a zero value, we get the same value same vector back. U plus minus U equals the zero vector. So minus U is ac actually the opposite vector. It's a vector with the same length as U, only the direction is opposite. And the opposite vector is frequently used in equations like we have here. Yeah, so we can look at equations like a vector x plus another one equals zero, then x is minus equals minus two one, or it is a vector minus two minus one. Okay, E. Well, if we have a scalar and the sum, so we have a scalar C times the sum of two vectors, then we may calculate this as 
c times u plus c times v f if we have c plus d times a vector of v then it's uh, u is the same as c times u plus d times u so these are all kind of trivial relations we'll prove some of them so g is a property that actually if we have the product of two numbers times a vector u then it's the same as c times the scalar product du and h finally the last property I will mention here is that 1 times the vector u equals the vector u. So 1 is a neutral element for scalar multiplication. Okay, we'll prove some of them.